Oh, hello, everybody. The Aboriginal translation of the words woi woi is water here, water there, more water there, and more water. <laughs> the, the express crossing the Hawkesbury River Bridge brings us to woi woi, which is about, uh, oh, about 45 miles from Sydney uh, by rail. My little niece, Sally, was very excited over the prospect of her holidays. And on our arrival, we were met by some very charming friends who had arranged for us to leave right away and see the sights. Oh, hello, Sally. By Jove, what a big girl you've grown. Looking so pretty, too. The station overlooks Woi Woi Bay. And this is one of the favorite spots for the ambitious visitor to start their fishing careers. No wonder the gentlemen of Woi Woi prefer Woi Woi. And with that hospitality that one always associates with the Australian sporting clubs, I was invited to try my hand. Now be careful. Ah, that one slipped. Come back. There is no spot more loved and tenderly cared for than this simple little memorial park with its bright flower beds and picturesque formations nestling at the foot of the monument bearing the names of the brave. After all, if you will take your small niece for a holiday, you generally find yourself doing just what your niece wants you to do. And Sally wanted a trip on the lawns, so here we are, gliding over the blue-green waters, glistening in the sunlight. Pleasure boats are everywhere, filled with happy people enjoying themselves. Beautiful scenes come into view all around Broken Bay, and you can see here the famous rip, where the water bubbles and twists and twirls. It's interesting to note that Governor Philip visited Broken Bay in 1778 and remarked on the grandeur of the scene. I wonder what he thought of the beaches. Nearly everywhere you see a scene like this, young, ambitious Zane Greys, by Jove. That's a big one. You think so? Watch me. Ah. Ah. Got him. That's it. Equably. Look out. Look out. Now, be careful. Do it. No, no. Oh, my goodness. Now, Margaret. Now, up, up, Sir Daisy. That's the girl. Oh, splendid. This is more in my line. A nice, soft rubber plane to rest on, and what a surfer I am. <laughs> now, this happy mother surrounded by her babies... Oh, I'm sorry, this happy father. I have much pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, in introducing to you little Miss Woy Woy. What a darling. There is always something to interest one at Etalong Beach. And this scene fully describes itself. Oh yes, it's a real dog. Come on, bring the money box back to Daddy. Uh, something's going to happen here, judging by interest these people are taking. Nearly every Australian beach of note has its surf club. And Ocean Beach Club gives us a demonstration of life-saving that compares with the best. Picture theatres all over the world, through their interesting newsreels, show the magnificent work that is being done on Australian beaches. And the stories of many heroic deeds done by these brave men will go down in history. Some Australians like sitting on horses. There is no end to the delights of a holiday at Woi Woi. And on a bright sunny day, there is no finer exercise than riding. And the nice thing about it here is you don't have to be all dressed up. Just a bathing suit, and doesn't Sally know it, too? No wonder this pleasure resort is the mecca of all motorists. This particular spot is called Tool Box Cave. Our friends were very keen for us to visit this famous old homestead. It was built of stone, quarried on the spot. And from the veranda, no matter which way you look, magnificent scenes come into view. It was owned by the late Major Cox. Now, this scene overlooks the famous Pearl Beach. It makes a very beautiful picture. Now, this is not one of those romantic palm-covered islands you read about in the South Seas, but one of the beauty spots of the world, with its health-giving sunshine, glorious beaches, wonderful, vigorating air from the southern Pacific Ocean. Oh. Another view of Pearl Beach. Do you notice how the sand has been formed into a shape of a large shell? 
And looking down from a height of 185 feet at the natural rock swimming pool that's at the other end of Pearl Beach, about 666 feet above sea level, you come to Staples Lookout, about four miles from Woiwoi, which you can see in the distance. That's Woiwoi. Have you noticed how energetic these two young ladies are? I first noticed them on the launch. <laughs> For Tonga from the cliffs, gives one a magnificent view of the surrounding country. And no matter where you go, you are held spellbound by its beauty and grandeur. From Mount Wara, you can see the famous Lion Island. How majestically it stands out. Also Baron Joey in the distance. In all my travels around the world, I have never seen anything to equal this spot. Every kind of sport, especially fishing. And I feel sure that this romantic journey has given you some idea of the wonderful holiday Sally and I had at Woiwoi, the Venice of Australia.